know you didn't start off as the president of, of Warner Brothers Records. Um, tell us how you got started in the business, if you would. So I started as a DJ um, in high school, uh, and I was looking for any way to um, to get access to new music, to uh, be able to afford <laughs> to buy more music to play out, and um, and to connect with artists and be a part of the a part of the business. So um, in high school, I explored all all the opportunities, including. Um, being a part of a public access music video show at my local public access station to, in order to meet labels and, and wound up with an internship at Interscope Records when, um, the, when I was 15. And um, through that internship, I, um, I basically, you know, between rolling posters and, and packing stuff up for shipping, I, I listened to conversations and understood that they wanted uh, marketing the high school, uh, high school students, and I felt that, you know, I could handle some of those responsibilities, being that I was in high school and, and had a lot of relationships with people at other, other L.A. City high schools. So I basically started a marketing company to L.A. City high schools and sent labels, sent letters to all the record labels and, you know, uh, made the price point cheap enough where a bunch of them, you know, hired me for a couple hundred dollars a month to um, to promote their music in high schools. And that's what really set the, the ball rolling. Um, and it also kind of... Um, it also sort of sets my number one rule for the music business, which is if you you know want to do something, you just you just start doing it, whether you're getting paid for it, whether you have an official position um, or not. You just start doing what you want to do, and then eventually, hopefully, someone will pay you to do it. <laughs> I think that's uh, some 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 great advice there, Mike. Uh, you know, we, we have a little motto around here too, similar to, your, to yours. And it's dream it and do it. You know, you don't learn anything by sitting yeah. on the sidelines. I'll say this, Mike. At 15 years old, most people are trying to figure out how to do their homework. The fact that you'd already started a business uh, is, is, is awesome, if you ask me. Well, you know, I, I don't know if I considered it a business or I thought about it consciously starting a business. I mean, I think, you know, I would send the invoices out personally and, and um, it was just, it, I, I don't think I was really worried about getting paid from everyone either. It was really just the exercise of it. Um, I will say it was, you know, for me it was lucky I lived in Los Angeles and in a central part of Los Angeles, so most of the record labels were, you know, just a single bus ride away. 